We on real? Thank you. Does that sound good? Might sound nice, check one. I might sound nice, check one. Booyah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Roxanne Swainon, and now for something completely different. <laughs> this is Wide Open Night. Wide Open. I'm glad you said that. I'm going to do something from the collective of humanity to spread an idea and relax. It's not about religion or anything crazy like that. I just want you to do yourselves a favor, and the end would be my greatest wish. Oh, truly my greatest wish. To just put your beliefs on the back burner for a minute, as you all have co-created this moment in humanity. Just real quick, does anyone understand what a channel is? Be channeler, Abraham Hicks, Bashar, anyone like that? Anybody? Mueller, class? <laughs> Wonderful. Welcome in. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your attendance in this so co I, Yeah, so now I don't want to move because I've had my... <laughs> And good evening to the collective. My name is Osipius oh, from the Oversoul Collective Fire. You all, individuals, are the fabric of life. All that is, you are among the conscience of God. One, the all, the creator, the source, all that is. You are the individual thought of the collective now co-creating this moment, so you individually can hear a message from yourselves to understand that you are more than what you believe you are. You are more than what you see in the mirror. You are defining yourself as that. But we are here to tell you that you are light. And your light will shine ever brighter. Beyond that, and it will never extinguish. Beyond that of your comprehensionable imagination. You have been chosen by the Creator as an individual expression to exist. So please, if you would, for a moment, understand that you exist in this now. You are not your car, your phone, your clothes, your talents of that fashion. You are the fabric of life. You are here to express yourself as a human, an individual expression to create and remember those things of what you are. There is nothing else. There is only relationship of the mirror. And everyone is creating that mirror as you choose in this map. A collective, that is me, part of. I am Osiris. I am an entity. I am an extraterrestrial. If you have not had the interactions of the extraterrestrials in that fashion, in the next, let's say, six to eight months, there will be more and more. We are giving you a beacon of understanding, a remembrance to see what is going to be occurring in the next nows for you to understand that you are not your job. You are not your beliefs and Thank you so much from earlier. You are not your mask. The one you don every day for acceptance, for gratification, for belonging, for feeling loved because you are alone, because you were neglected or rejected as you were a child. And you only wanted to be loved. You only wanted friendship, but you needed to be accepted. And in order to be accepted, you needed to have success. So looming failure always tainted your mask. You decorated the best you could according to your beliefs. You've done everything you can, but we are here to tell you, you are eternal, you are forever, and you shall never pass. You always will exist, you will pass in death from this plane, and in that you will remember all that you are. You are one, you are one, you are one. That of God. We would like to ask you, if any of you have ever understood to be in the presence of an extraterrestrial. Somebody out there wants to know what's going on. So this idea, if you choose to accept it, you can ask any question you would ever want. Just remember, the question will be answered in a way comprehensible to you, not beyond the measure of the collective of humanity. For you only understand your comprehension. The idea first we would like to impart upon you more and more of those sightings, more and more of the disclosure of the truth that the governments around the world have been hiding from you, that there are extraterrestrials in co-creation, that is time of the ascension of humanity. You will now understand that you are a part of a collective, that you chose to be a human in this time for the greatest ascension, where humanity awakens to their own godhood. 
you are here, you are now, you have chosen this moment to experience that relationship of yourself in full remembrance. There will be a mass understanding that you are not alone, you never have been, and you never shall be. You will be disclosed among your governments, and you will want to have your revenge. But do not take revenge, because you are eternal love, you are unconditional. You will forgive, and you will forget, and you will co-create the new world that is now on its cusp of understanding. In this collective now, amongst you entities, and there are many of you that are looming questions bouncing around in your mind, what is life all about? Why am I here? Is this it? Am I a summation of my retirement? Do I work 40 hours a week? At 40, let's call them weeks, 40 years, at 40% of your retirement? Am I that? Do I get to retire in a home where my children forget about me? Am I going to sit in a bed and use, in, let's say, the latrine in my bed? Hmm? Is that what I am? Am I to be forgotten? Do I matter? What is life all about? Is what we're asking. If there is any entities among you, we would just want you to feel that you can. And in this vibrational co-creation moment that you are eternal love. And there is no public scrutiny among you at this time. And you may ask any questions about your past, about your future, about your infinite number of probable lives you all are experiencing right now. Because that's the only time there is. The future is now, the past is now, time is an illusion as well as this mirror that you are creating right now. Is there anybody among you that would like to ask him a question? If that answer is none, then we shall continue with a brief message and you can go home and take your perspective because you are believed. That of your parents, that of your neighbors, that of your teachers, that of your social accepted conscience, and that is who you are. Your ego, your personality complex that defines you in separation, your flag, your country, your grace, your color, always separating yourself from the other for the acceptance of the unity that you have created amongst your friends. But you are one unit. You are one flower. You are one tree. You are the tree of life. You are forever. Is there anyone among you who have vibrational questions without fear to ask an extraterrestrial in that fashion anything you would like to know? We have all the time, so take your time. Because everything is now. Go. Why is there suffering? The suffering is a choice. Now listen, entities. You came here. There are two emotions. Listen close. There is only love and there is only fear. The Alpha and the Omega. That love is all that you are. That fear is forgetfulness. Okay, Osiphius, I forgot. Why do I have to suffer? Well, here's the reason. Because you are remembering who you are by knowing what you are not. God, the creator of all that is, has, listen now, no plan. Because he is unconditional and so are you. You are unbridled and unlimited. You, as a collective, choose fear, because that is all you understand. You don't know who you are, and you are through your trials, tribulations, choices, understandings, reflections, to find what you love and find what you don't. This room right here, if you have, let's say, all the money in the world, all the shelter in the world, all the clothes, all the food, everything you would ever need, you would not one, not one of you would act in a negative manner because you have everything. But the society has built of those that the 1% of the 1% who control all the money in all the world have kept the money. And in that, they have taken God out of you. God is now over there. God has always been, and the kingdom of heaven is in here. You are eternal. You are God. In that, they are playing the game. They are offering, listen now, the choice. Do I want to follow the paradigm of forgetfulness, enslavement, tight tyranny? Do I want to be the victim any longer? Or do I choose my own reality because God-given right of free will? You are that free will. 
So suffering is truly a choice of experience to understand what you no longer prefer. But listen now, Antonis, don't think for one fathomable second that there is an amount of suffering unseen. This is a 16.3 billion year timeline of several billion collapsed Earth, because everything is now timeline. There have been three Egyptian timelines, there have been three Christs on your Earth. You only have the remembrance of one. All of the suffering, tens of millions have been slaughtered over and over again. Because when you know nothing, you try to remember. And until you remember and coveted what you were, God, the suffering became healing. And it has only taken you a short time of 4,500 years plus 2,000 to get to the vibrational sense of now. And the now is the ascension. All of you have YouTube, the internet, you see all the tyranny, but you also see all the love, all the expression, sitting up here, expressing your art, your love. And all of you have your own individual talents to have no fear if it will ever make money. Just express and that will vibration because you are love and you only attract that support, that grace, which you are born of, and you can never fall out of grace because that is your eternal right. Suffering is an understanding of free will choice. God let you have it. He would not want anything else because then God would not understand himself, herself, itself fully. That is humanity. And understand this, entities, you are the deepest, the most in third density. This is the third density or fourth dimension, three-dimensional world at time. There are several hundred thousand incarnations in this galaxy alone of physical beings. You are the deepest. You have chosen the hardest incarnations. You are known as the masters of limitation, soon to be known as masters of ascension. Because you took a species, you all are already ascending. The physical being known as humanity is the civilization you are ascending. You have taken that species from complete dark to complete light. Only with your eternal love for your brethren. You are all equal. You are all wrong. There is no higher than God, because God is you. There is no lower than God, than God is you. Jesus is not above you. Buddha is not above you. Allah is not above you. You cannot worship your brother. You are an equal. And now you have the free will choice to allow suffering or not. You know the difference. Choose how, not protest. Do not fight fire with fire. Do not get angry, because it only feeds the exit. exact reference exact energy of that negativity. Be loved, allow, accept, and express your moment of unconditional love in whatever way you choose, and that will only draw more love to the world. You will be a blossoming lotus, giving your fragrance to the world, a beacon of light, a, let's say, hmm, a, let's say, that's perfect. We'll call it a lighthouse on the shore, calling those lost souls, to safe harbor amongst the storm by you just showing, not trying, not trying, showing by being yourself. The context is know thyself and you shall be thyself. Act upon your highest excitement and you will show in the mirror of reflection everybody is the same. Everybody is one in their own individual expression of love. So choose suffering through fear or choose love and know that you are rocked in the bosom of grace for all now. Does that help? Wonderful. And we love your vibration for liking it. Awesome, awesome. Are there anyone else who has any questions in this moment? No, no. Anybody? Louder. We are out of time. Ah, another illusion. Once again, this is Ozippius from the Oversoul Collective Fire. It would be my greatest wish to take this interaction that you chose to be here and understand that you are a reflection of yourself in the mirror and choose your love or fear. That is all there is. I bid you a good moment. Adore. Thank you guys. It was completely different. Whew. Okay, Marcus. Oh, I had to get the energy.